to by the Dunbar Festival Committee. Mm. And then, of course, on Monday, January 18th at 10 o'clock, they're having the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Commemorative March. Mm -hmm. Now, trophies will be presented to the largest group of marches wearing club, group insignias. And they're going to start at the Dunbar Jupiter Hammond Library and will continue to the Centennial Park, which is located in downtown. The Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Multicultural Celebration in the Park. They're having a proclamation ceremony, a poster contest for elementary and middle school. They're having an essay contest for high school students and musical entertainment. Mm -hmm. This is also being sponsored by the City of Fort Myers and title sponsors. The Dunbar Festival Committee is being headed up by our local Fred D. Morgan II. Mm -hmm. He's actually the chairperson. And if you want any more information, you can contact him at 464 Five seven six two. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of stuff that's going on. I and, know. And so if you're sitting around the house, well, we ain't got nothing to do. Yeah. You lying. So just you just don't want to go nowhere. And I understand it because the football game on today. So hmm. I don't. I'm not saying I'm gonna be home watching the game. Well, won't be playing in my house because I don't entertain it like that. Well, the football game. That's right. Look, I watch the players, not the game. You got sons. How you doing? You got sons. You got to let them watch it. Well, they can do it, but I won't be watching oh, it. Oh, okay. I'll throw them in the garage. Right. Let them play a video game or something. See, that's like uh, with the little rascals that they used to say, Stymie, your mommy's trying to make a sissy out of you. <laughs> so, <laughs> Trust me, my boys are far from being sissies. Yeah, they yeah. Cool. yeah they they're are. not. They're not sissies. They're not in the closet, and they're not... The DL guys. Like yeah. Oh, yeah. We're still looking for mm -hmm. those. We're still looking for those. Mm -hmm. um, we want to hear from some of y'all down low brothers. And um, we'll disguise your voice uh, if you call. Well, you can disguise your voice. How you doing? If, if you call up. And because I, we, the question is how you can uh, have relations with a guy and say that you're not gay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want to hear the thinking on that because I just don't. I can't wrap my mind around it. So, you know, and, and you know, it's a salacious thing. And, um, you know, in our community, we like gossip. And, you know, also, I want to hear from some of the women. This is this is just mm -hmm. stuff that we would like to hear mm -hmm. from. Women who are in a committed relationship with a married man, and he's not your husband. Mm -hmm. Okay? I, you're a single woman, but you got a, a, um, a guy who's married on the side, and you're in that committed. You don't see any other guys because... You feel that you're in a committed relationship with that guy. Mm -hmm. We want to hear from you. We want to talk about all aspects of our community, and that's a part of our community. That's right. Again, you can call up and we'll, well, you'll disguise your voice. Just, you know, talk like Julia Childs or something and, and tell us, you know, <laughs> how you feel about uh, being the side chick and, and why you think that it's okay. I just, I, and not to be judged, we're not going to call you a hoe, a garden tool. Um, we're not going to do that, right? <laughs> It is. It's a garden too. We're not gonna call you that. Uh, so just give us a call and and let us hear. You know what's that all about? We we want to hear some of that stuff. And um, some of you just can't stay in a committed relationship. And um, and I have this friend who um, <laughs> he got married. It's not funny, but he can't hear me laughing. Uh, he got married and he he and his wife went on a cruise. And he went up. He was like playing basketball or or whatever he was doing on the cruise. He came back to the cabin and he caught his bride in bed with another guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, it devastated him and to the point where he will not get into a committed relationship anymore. And I want to know what, what leads to that. Is that something that's built in? You know, I want to know why you cheat. I, 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 these are things that interest us. I, I honestly want to know about the stuff that we whisper about. In the barbershops, we're not talking anybody's names. We don't want to hear that. And we don't want to hear details of your love life. We don't want to hear any of that. But we want to hear the stuff that, you know, in your mind makes what you're doing okay. Because, you know, I, I, I personally find that very interesting. And, and I just like to hear it. And, you know, it's some good gossip. Plus, yeah. everybody can try to guess who you are. Yeah. Which would be a lot of fun, too. You know what's interesting? Remember that... that um, young man we had a chance to talk to yesterday um, mm -hmm. in our office mm -hmm. who was just 
not hilarious. He was hilarious. Uh -huh. um, he was telling us about you would be surprised how many DL brothers, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. are riding around in Fort Myers with the big tires and rims. Yeah, you know. And he was like, after two or three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Like, so I said, are you kidding? He said, you'd be surprised. Yeah. Trust me. He goes, I'm not going to put their names out there, but trust me. So mm -hmm. it's like now when I pass by guys and they're in their hoopties on 22s <laughs> and 24s, I'm going to take a different spin on how I look at, yeah, <laughs> look it, at that's them. That's some weird stuff. Now, a friend of mine, he, he was listening last week, and he told me that he, he was going to call and, and mention that. That he thinks is um, the brothers that's been to jail. Don't beat me up. It was my friend who said this, mm -hmm. your brothers has been to jail. Because of y'all felons and y'all might attack me especially once you know who I am uh, but oh God. yeah oh but, God. but he said <laughs> that Jesse. he thinks that these guys God. get in these guys get into jail and because they you know they do that that when they get out they're used to that mm -hmm. and so they continue to do that mm -hmm. and uh, that's not all of y'all I'm not saying all mm -hmm. of y'all okay so and I know you saying you're not no no punk I can say punk, right? Yeah. I can say punk. You, you ain't no punk. I ain't calling you that. But I want to know what makes you think that you're not gay if you have relations right. with uh, I mean, with the man. So, you know. The same with the woman. Inquiring minds want to know. How do you say that you're not a lesbian when you've been with another woman? I mean. Yeah. It, yeah. So it, I, a spade is a spade. Yeah. And, 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 and again, I'm not putting, it's not to put you down. It's not to judge you. It's just that we're trying to get where the thinking comes from. I cannot believe that's like actually our first call. Yeah, you know what this is, isn't it? I, I, I guess because we, we were the ones making the calls today. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure who this is. Hey, call, I'm going to put you right on air, so uh, please watch your language, especially if you call to cuss me out. Uh, good morning. Welcome to Dunbar Community Radio Counter-Strike. Not much. How you doing? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. It's more accepting. Mm. Good point. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. For the MTV generation. You're used to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, while they're doing it, they're, they're not considering themselves to be gay. And will probably be the homosexual.